Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to TRHD. In today's video, I'll show you some tips and tricks about soldering. Now I'll show you the basic equipment that you need for a perfect solder. For soldering, the first thing you'll need is a soldering iron. For general purposes, you can go with the 20 to 40 watt iron or you can go with higher wattage according to your needs. You can even use a mini soldering station like this. It has a variable temperature knob. For general small projects and small components, you can go with the 25 watt iron. If you want to work with bigger components, then you have to go with at least 50 or 60 watt irons. This is the 6040 lead that I'll be using for general soldering. It has 60% lead and 40% tin. I generally use a 22 gauge lead for my works. Sometimes you may also need a soldering flux to get a clean and proper solder. You should also keep a wet sponge with you to clean the tip of the soldering iron whenever it gets dirty. This is a 25 watt soldering iron that I'll be using to show you how to solder. And this is the soldering station with variable temperature setting. You can use this to get a perfect solder by adjusting the temperature. This is a 6040 22 gauge solder lead. Now I'll show you how to solder. Before soldering, you should always tin the tip of your iron. Tinning is coating a layer of lead on the metal surface. Tinning prevents oxidation. If you have excess lead on your tip, you can clean it using this wet sponge like this or you can just flick it and remove the excess lead. Now I will show how to solder two wires. First you have to tin the tip of your wire. After tinning you should twist both the wires like this. You can use anything to hold the wires. I have used two clips to hold the wires in a steady state. Now I will start soldering. Put the solder bit on the wire and let it heat and apply lead on the wire uniformly. Let it cool down naturally. Don't blow air to cool it because blowing air may reduce the strength of the solder. To cover this joint, you can use a heat shrinkable sleeve. This is a heat shrinkable sleeve. You can cut the exact size and use it to cover it up. You can cut this much, you can cover it like this. Now blow hot air. I am using this hot air gun to shrink the sleeve. Now the joint is perfect, see it will never come out now. Now I will show you how to solder few components on this PCB. This is a pitch bending tool, you can use this tool to bend any component. You can place a resistor like this and bend it. The component will bend like this to exact pitch. Now I am placing these components on the PCB. I will show you how to solder these components. First place the bit, uh, bit on the component and wait for a second. Then apply the solder lead on it. You will need a cutter to cut these excess leads. A shiny surface indicates a good solder. Every solder lead will have a flux at its core. To remove that flux after soldering, you will need a cleaning agent like isopropanol. You can use this isopropanol to clean the flux from the PCB. This is a cotton dipped in isopropanol. I am using this cotton to clean the PCB. Now the solder is perfect and clean. This is how I place the components on the PCB and solder them. I hope my video has really helped you on solder techniques. Thanks guys for watching my video. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in next video.